What is up, you beautiful bunch? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing an episode of the Coin Set Showcase, one of my favourite series to do, where I show you a set of coins, essentially. <laughs> and today's set is the 2010 Silver Proof Set. Absolutely stunning little coin set, this. All minted in 925 sterling silver, with the, um, the two pound coins having gold plating on the outer. Now, I'm always fascinated by it the coins which of course are in a different color than usual so we've got the penny and the 2p minted in this silver looks very unusual of course not used to seeing them this color there's the penny and there's the two pence a bit of toning on these and what i did notice the first time i looked through this set was that a lot of the capsules weren't fully sealed so if you're buying these sets and they're not toned yet, make sure the capsules are nice and tight because I bought this fairly recently and the previous owner, I guess, never tightened the capsules fully. So that's why they're toned so badly, I think, because the air has managed to get inside. Other than the penny and 2p, the other coins which are not their usual color are the pound coins. Here we have the royal emblem, the royal shield. And again, that one's still not perfectly tight now although the toning on that one isn't too bad at all but yeah again funny to see this uh, usually brass coin in sterling silver very nice of course the other definitive designs all six coins here make up the Matthew Dent shield which is essentially the same design which is on this smaller coin all of the coins for circulation were minted in fairly high numbers but the 2010 50 pence was not circulated. This is one of those NIFC years that we keep an eye out for in our 50p coin hunts. If you've not seen our 50p coin hunts, where have you been? Go and check them out. But the 2010 50p is certainly worth a few quid. Lovely stuff. Of course, as I say, the two pound coin with the outer plated in gold. Very nice indeed. Of course, all the coins with the Ian Rank broadly portrait. Does look like a thumbprint on there, but I think that's on the capsule rather than the coin itself. Um, as a reference point, the, the silver in this two pound coin is worth about six pound 20. Of course, this set has a, quite a large premium on it. It's not just worth the silver content. Right, let's move over to the exciting side with the commemorative coins. We've got the Girl Guiding 50p. 2010, of course. Lots of these minted for circulation, 7.4 million odd. So not a scarce coin in circulation, but a nice one to have in silver proof. Then we have the two one pound coins that came out that year, part of the uh, Capital Cities series. This, of course, at the top, it says London. Then you've got the other designs, small versions of them underneath the London one there. Lovely stuff. London, one of the rarer ones, 2.6 million minted for circulation. Belfast, 6.2 million minted for circulation. Again, there's the Belfast one, and you can see London in the center there. It's a nice design with the ship on and in silver just adds to it again this one not toned too badly at all it's a bit hit and miss with this toning isn't it and we have one of my favorite two pound coins in existence and it just looks great in silver proof let's open it and have a bit of a closer look shall we there we go the florence nightingale coin to commemorate 100 years since her passing such a great design again not a rare coin in circulation 6.1 million minted but as i say one of my favorite two pound coins and absolutely stunning in proof some quite nice toning coming on that one a bit more multicolored, which does tend to happen over time and finishing us off we have 350 years since the restoration of the monarchy by Charles II. This, of course, is a five pound coin. And you can see Charles II's 
Monica there in the center. And this is uh, to commemorate when he came back from being exiled after Oliver Cromwell's death. And the monarchy was restored 350 years ago in 2010. So let me know what you think. I think it's a lovely little set. To buy this in base proof, you're looking at around 70 to 90 pounds, which I think is a real bargain if you can get them for 70. They have been selling for that out there. Of course, silver proof, you're looking at a lot, a lot more from 225 to 300 pounds. But again, a great set to have, I think, in silver proof. Drop us a thumbs up. Oh, one more thing, actually. This does lift out. And underneath is a bit of extra storage. And in here we have our booklet. Nearly forgot about that. Nice number on this one, number 79. And there is space to store some other goodies underneath there if you wanted to. There we go, 2010, number 79. And we'll have a quick flick through this. As usual, do feel free to pause and read at your leisure. But thanks for watching. I do enjoy making these um, coin set showcase videos. I know we've been slacking a little bit with getting the content out to you recently, but I've just been a very, very busy boy, but we're gonna do our best to get back to normality over the next few weeks. So do stay tuned to the channel. If you're new around here, of course, smash that red subscribe button come and see us again for some more coiny goodness lots of coiny goodness in this booklet definitely worth a read Should probably read it myself before i do the video next time <laughs> there we go talking about the royal shield and there it is the royal arms and the definitive two pound coin Certificate of Authenticity, signed by Andrew Stafford. Um, limited edition presentation in this set, 3,500. So we've done well to get number 79, probably one of the lowest numbers we've had. Awesome. As I say, smash that thumbs up for us. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'll see you all soon for some more coiny goodness. Take care. All the best.